And we're officially underway from Allianz Field. Kickoff brought to you by Paycor. Path is very clear for the Fire. Foy points in their final two games. Pretty good Greg Usha, good server. Kai Kamara clearly the target, but you got Coleman, you got Aha. Greg Usha whips it in. Good ball. Free header and batted away by Shuttleworth. Still available for Minnesota. Aha back for Kamara on the first time and another save from Shuttleworth. Boy, just too slow in reacting here. I wonder who else was on the line because it looked like Finley was right in front of Bob. Put on a display in the second half that certainly was worthy of three points. Elliot Collier struck the post in the final minutes of that game as this one lofted toward Frankowski. Able nice to put job. the brakes on beautifully. Now towards the back post. Barrage a free header. Wow. And it's a beautiful finish from Robert Barrage. And the Chicago Fire have taken a 1-0 lead here at Allianz. It's that man, Barrich, again. Robert Barrich, who peels away and caresses it in that near post here. Forwards, what's the best goal? You always think they're going to say a bicycle kick or some other. They say that, that tap in. Here's Jimenez from a long way out. St. Clair spills it. Herbers on the follow-up. It falls for Barrich. Peels it across from the highland. It's, oh, and he misses it. Oh, he'll have nightmares about that one. And it remains 1-0. Field a proper team heading into the postseason. If they were going to have any more injuries, they signed three players from a USL championship side. As this is a great ball towards Frankowski. St. Clair off of his line. Frankowski back for Barrage. Cleared off the line by Coleman and even further away by Aha. The ball played through. Great what a ball. nice run by Frankowski. Finds Barrage here. Been a very good run for him. Clean first touch from Barrage. It was the goal he scored, I think, the first goal where he had a season of issues. Here's Kai Kamara able to skip away from Francisco Calvo, plays it along. It's Ethan Findlay now, and Shuttleworth with another save. Trying to get away from Findlay. Well played by Herbers. Matran onside. Hooks it in. And it falls for Pineda! Mauricio Pineda makes it two, and the Fire are well on their way to what could be their first three points on the road. It's two to nil at Allianz. So to United, they don't deal with it. Coleman can't clear it. It is Reynoso. It is a great delivery at the back post, and Minnesota have one back. It's Jose Aja, and just like that, it's 2-1. Looks like it may be Sekulic at that back post. He and Aja wrestling, and Aja sticks a right. Driving forward with purpose, running right at Bornstein, and he just picks his pocket. Molino keeps it alive. Metinier, the Frenchman, curls one in. A free header of Minnesota have leveled it. Clean as you like from Lud. Nobody marking him in the penalty area, and Minnesota United have turned this game around. It's 2-2 with 10 minutes remaining. Good way from Reynoso here, and a little wide open here. That corner kick, Adrian Heath won't be happy with that. Corner at the near post, it's on the doorstep, and it's in for the fire! Robert Barrett claims it! Well, in a clear offside the, position. That's what they're going to call here, it looks like. Like it may get called back no, the here. The fact he hasn't pointed to the middle of the field yet. And the call is offside. Yep. Into the 98th minute. Pineda. And that's going to do it full time. Well, the Chicago Fire needed four points in their final two games to ensure their spot in the postseason.